Suga! Okay, so you're talking a little bit about how you're disappointed with not backing out when fights are done and following the wrong people to death, so I will review your video a little and see anything else I can help you with, maybe? Hopefully. I'll try my best. Okay, so first thing we want to look here is the team comp. Um, obviously the spectating, so I don't know how much you press tab, but definitely do press it a lot. So, by the way, this may <laughs> She's so adorable! Anyways. So let's go back here a little bit when I press tab. I was distracted by the mate. Um, why do I press tab here? Let's see. Let me get you patched. There we go. Okay, so with Mercy, you. Okay, th this DPS comp is good for boosting. I'll use blue for damage boost and yellow for. Um healing right so you have ash hanzo and may so good dps to boost um sandwich is totally fine I, again this cute just qp i'm just pretending it's like a cop brown um so you can like damage boost any of them really <laughs> it's been a while since I've used this, so I'm like, how do I use it? Anyways. Damage boosting, good. Heal whoever needs healing, good. Um, that's definitely not reservable. You should be at peak performance level. I like how you fly around a lot. That's definitely reservable. This is not the end. Oh, yeah, and one thing I noticed, I I really like how you spin around when you res, makes them harder to shoot, shoot, or you, or either that, or you can look around slowly to see who to fight to next. Um, good pistol usage there to distract the Hanzo, um, but healing definitely not hurt her either. Heroes never die. Oh, and also another thing I noticed is you press uh, whatever key for your, y you know, you have all. Um, it, it lets your team know to push. Well, at least it should let them know, so... That's how you Is use your sprays down? and um, your keys to group up and all. Okay, so let's take a look at the enemy. They have... Again, this is comp, so it's going to be hard not to die with this many DPS, but Reaper, Genji, Torbs, uh, Bashin. Um, so, ba uh, here, immediately, Genji is like, Genji in Overwatch, right? Genji and, I don't know, Junkrat, Farah, those are probably like, 
top three, if not the best three to alt against with their alt. What I mean is when Genji alts you on your alt three, right? So I'm gonna be trying to see if you do that. Um, and then there's some heroes against where you don't want to Valk. For example, Soldier is definitely, I would be wouldn't say their top uh, hero to not all against. What else? Ash probably. Um, yeah, just those heroes. It's better to just not all anyway. So like, let's say usually they have two, 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 right? So if this two, for DPS, if they have like a Genji for one, and what else is really good to alt against? Junkrat um, for their second DPS, I would just say not even like Valk until one of them does, because you really want to stay there for it. Um, but yeah, just gonna be seeing how you do with that. And of course, what you're talking about, about how you don't think you're backing out when fights are done and calling people wrong people to death i'm still personally working on that too actually so Let's see here i'm with you i will clear the screen there we go That's unfortunate, yeah, I remember this. The Bastion just sits there and just shoots away at him and takes the damage. Yeah, Genji ulted there, you didn't have ult, so that's fine. Probably needed to reset anyway. Um. Damage amplified. Again, this was, if this was comp, you would obviously let your teammates know that Bastion's there. You're great at shot calling anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. I'm taking care of you. It's been down. Enemy turret ahead. Enemies here. Valkyrie is almost ready. Love how you use your back. It's almost ready, but then. Uh, when they're anti like that, definitely either heal your other teammates or damage to That's pretty risky, but I like it. Um, I like that use of Valk, by the way, since Genji used his blade. This res is really risky because Bastion is right there and he could fire deep down. Luckily he went away, but... Okay, so that was a big fight right there. Let's go back to that fight. Um, it starts around here. So you use that. Especially since this is a assault map and you guys are in attack, right? It's hard to communicate, but... Heroes never die. Uh, since this is QP, but pretending this is calm. So there goes Hog right there. You res the Hog, so you guys have a big advantage. Because you still have six people. And now you lose two. So it's still about even, but they still probably have the advantage because their spawn is so much faster compared to yours. 
Fight's still pretty winnable. Yeah, and then around here. Yeah. See, this is like around three. So once this happens, is when I try to get out. Like when one or two people die up here. And then uh, one other thing you want to try and do with Mercy is track, keep track of alts because like let's say, hmm, okay, ping, there we go. Um, so Genji, Genji is blade once and Bastion I think she also, and then Isari is also used it. So, because your DPS like Genji and Widow are like going bam 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 heavy and like focusing on shooting, um, it's typically the healer's job to keep track of alts and like the best way to do that is to think if like if Zarya is one of the game most impactful alt, right? One of the most impactful alt. Um, like it, the best way to think about it is if she hasn't used it in a while, then you want to let your teammate teammates know if they have it. Um, it this is just general mercy tips. I know you do a great job at this, so I'm not worried at all. But You should be at peak performance level. Damage boost engaged. Eight oh. in down. Oh. This is not the end. I need healing. You must really Damage increased. Oh. So now your team is 5v6. Heroes never die. 5v5. Yeah, nice thing all by me. I'm raised. Don't move. Um, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I really like how you use your pistol. Um, okay. First of all, when you wanna look at the kill stream here and see Like, if, if this happens, then fight is over, right? So, let's see here. Also, the usage of reses. Um, let's go back a little here. Um, okay, so this is the analogy I use for friends. But let's say you are in, on the road, right? Let's say you're in Japan. Wait, where are my colors? Colors. Okay. White. Wait. <laughs> okay. White. Uh, there we go. I'm sure there's an easy way to make squares like that. Okay. Anyways, Japan. Okay. You're in Japan. I don't know why I picked Japan. Um, anyways. So there's roads. There's like crosses, right? And then you're standing here. You want to cross to the other side, right? Okay, you're an angel, so... <laughs> However, you draw, you're supposed to draw angels. Uh, she has cute wings. How... Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to get to the other side. 
and there's enemies here. So right here, right here, there's a Zarya, and right here, let's see, there's a Reaper. Um, you want to stay either on this side or this side, right? So you want to fly to your teammates, um, like a lot of the time, uh, I like I see you like here or here. <laughs> Um, like, like basically in the middle of, of a minefield, pretty much, and which, which probably is gonna result in like, like this. I guess this is kind of fine because they don't really have a sniper or anything, but Reaper's like, like right here, <laughs> so he's gonna bur try and burst you down. Um, but yeah, like, what am I trying to say here? Like, when you res here, let's see here, let me clear the screen. Um, one of the things you want to try and do is like like teammates are gonna try and run away if like there's a diva bomb diva right or pretty much any all in the game really except for things like i don't know symmetra all um but yeah like mail is one of the best ones to use as a distraction for Rezzing. So since you have a res here, and the hog is dead, I would have res the hog. Let's see, did anyone else fly here? Yeah, it was the Genji... Actually, no, I would not res the hog because there, uh, there, there was a Genji who died here, right? And that's three. So even if you got the res off on the hog, um, the fight would probably be over, and that was one thing we were talking about, right? Um, so I would have gotten out. But let's say if only the hog died, and then this would this 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 big freeze here, right? This huge this freeze. <laughs> um, it's a huge distraction for the enemy, so that's a good time to use your uh, res here. So again, Genji hasn't used Blade in a bit, Zarya hasn't used her Grav in a while, so we should probably be assuming that they have that. There's the Blade right there, like I was talking about, but you don't have Valve, so that's unfortunate. You, this is a really nice kill, by the way, I was honestly That was a nice kill. Okay, so again, we're down Diva, uh, Genji, but they're also down a couple, so this fight's still pretty winnable. Again, you're on attack, so it would be really hard, but... This, this, um, this are just unlucky. Um, so you have 40 seconds, which, with this comp, if you don't have a loose wheel, it's really hard to take. But... Um, Starting over from the beginning. Yeah, just say things like group up. Uh, one last push. They no they use blade. Um, is ready. Good, you're saying Valk is ready. So they probably just have grab, which is for the big odds at least. There's the grab. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Right there, you would have uh, left the match, but you know, or not the match, the fight. But that was our only chance since it was OT, obviously. So, um, 
there's a couple also tips which I'll show you in the game in just a little bit. Alright, so here's just a couple of general, more general mercy tips. Uh, one of the best ones with mercy that you can do, it's been in the game for a while now, but if you press control shift and space again whichever keys you are using, but control shift and then space as, as you know, when you get near the teammate, then there's this thing called a super jump that you can do. It's been in the game for a while now, but here it goes. Let me try and demonstrate it. There we go. And then you can go on to like other ledges, like up there, um, up there, up there. It's really, really useful for maps like Anubis and let's see, Hanamura, Gibraltar, where there's like high ledges that you can go on and you can still heal your teammates from up there. Um, probably not on this map, obviously, but Gibraltar, a uh, really good uh, example of this is on point C, where you can get on top of the, you know, where like the spaceship is and you can heal your teammates from there. Um, obviously to make it harder for your enemies to shoot at you um, because Mercy is a survival game. Another tip, if you press shift, uh, this is just me pressing shift here to my teammate or the bot here, but if you press shift and space, space when you get near the uh, bot then you fly a lot further. Um, again, these are just general tips, I don't know how much you know about this, but in these are just things I've caught up when as I've been playing Mercy. A um, couple other things. If you go into Mercy specific settings here, and then there's three specific settings that are really useful to go on off on or off. Uh, the first and third are mostly your personal preference. I like to keep this uh, toggle beam connection on. Basically, what it does is if you have your beam on your teammate and when you let go of your mouse then you still have the beam on your uh, teammate whereas if you have this on off then when you when you are healing your teammate and you let go of your mouse then it let goes of the beam I like to have this on on because then you know it like makes sure that you're always uh, doing something at all times during a game because overwatch milliseconds do matter um, and then you don't have to worry about you know having to hold down to your mouse but again that's just mostly personal preference uh, this second one is not really personal preference uh, I would definitely suggest to have this on off basically what it does is if you okay let's start this with on And if you are healing a teammate, let's say you're healing uh, this person here, and then you, out of the corner of your eye, you see like this person here is getting low on HP, right? So you want to fly to them, but instead it flies to uh, this person here. So when you have this on off, then even when you're healing this person here and you see that they're low, then you can fly to them instead. And um, and then this third one is mostly personal preference. Once again, basically, if you have this on on, then when you press shift to a teammate, then you don't have to hold shift uh, uh, on the other setting on off. Whereas on off, when you press shift, then you have to kind of hold shift to in order to fully fly to your teammate. Um, again, that's just mostly personal preference. And there's a couple sensitivity options uh, here um, where you can mess around in the training range as well and then you can change it based on your personal preference. Sensitivity for Mercy, I really like to keep it um, higher than other heroes like for example Genji because you know you barely use your pistol and, like most of the time you're using your beam obviously right so you want to look around, see where your teammates are, and heal and boost as necessary. Again, these are just general tips, so hopefully that helps.